Hey, it's Jaffe. I wanted to do a very fast video to tell you about a game called Teardown that just came out in early access on Steam. I believe that's the only place you can get it right now. It is one of the coolest games of the year. It is incredibly interesting and different and fresh. It's a puzzle game at heart, and I don't tend to like puzzle games because after I solve one puzzle, I feel exhausted. That's just how my brain is, and so I need like a day off. I thought I was done with it after I got past puzzle three because I'm like, yeah, it's too puzzle but it always draws me back. It is it is incredibly cool. The high concept is you can use the environment. It's like a reverse Minecraft. You can destroy whatever you want and you can use the environment in all kinds of ways, almost not exactly whatever you think about. I don't wanna be dramatic, but it is so emergent and it is so free form that all the game really does is say, here are your goals. How do you wanna solve them? And you're playing like a criminal trying to steal stuff and bring it back to your escape vehicle and get away before the cops come, right? I'm just gonna show you one mission. I'm gonna show you how varied when it comes to ways you could solve it. I'm sure for the way I solve it, there's probably 50 other ways you could solve it that I haven't even thought of. So the game feels good as a player because it's almost like it adapts in real time to what your brain is interested in. It's like, can I try this? Holy cow, it worked. Could I try this? Holy cow, that kind of worked. Maybe if I pair that with this attempt and voila, you done got yourself a successful heist. I want to show you just one level, judge it after that. If it's like, yeah, it's not for me, Jaffe, fine. But this thing, super fresh, super cool. If this does not find its way onto a number of top 10 best game lists of the year, I will be stunned if this does not find its way uh, with a shelf full of best design awards or at least nominees, I will be very annoyed because it's indicative maybe of a press that gives out awards based on things other than actual merit. This is Teardown. Okay, so this is uh, a mission fairly early on. That is your escape vehicle there, right? You have in this mission, mission a sledgehammer, a spray can that you can tag. I've never known what that's for yet. Fire extinguisher, a blowtorch that sets certain things on fire, and a shotgun. Okay, and every mission is kind of tied in with what you have. It's like this mission, you have these things. And your goal, uh, if you pull back, is you can zoom out and see everything. Here's your escape vehicle. You have primary objectives and secondary. Your primary is to steal a GPS unit that's on this boat. There's another one on this boat, and there's another one in an office. They are attached to an alarm system that the minute you pull those GPS systems, the alarms are going to go off and the cops are going to come and you've got 60 seconds to get out. That's going to happen. I've tried all kinds of ways to de-arm them. I've tried to literally take the walls apart uh, from one of the walls that the GPS is attached to and transfer the wall by boat. The minute it kind of comes off that space in the gameplay environment, the alarm goes off. Okay. So it's pretty much about smash and grab and setting up your escape route. Really? You could call this game escape route and it would be just as apropos. Then you've got these secondary objectives that make things a lot harder. And then there's a bunch of collectibles, but let's just focus on the three objectives. Okay. So I've got to get this boat. I got to get the GPS in this boat, the GPS on this boat and the GPS in this office. I've got to get all three of them to my escape van and get away once the 60 second timer starts going off before the cops get here, which is based on when the timer ends. Okay, so let me just show you the way I chose to solve this particular conundrum, okay? All right, so first we jump over the fence, we're inside now, okay? And it takes a little bit of, you know, the map's really good because you, you're having to reference it a lot. Um, I kind of wish the map was on the screen, but it is what it is. My understanding is this game has lots of mod abilities and stuff, so I'm sure the the game environment's going to be doing, or, or game player's going to be doing a lot with it. Um, okay, so in this case, you've got this boat. That's where one of the GPSs uh, are. I am going to, first off, I can't use my sledgehammer because that's kind of metal or some kind of thing I can't destroy. I'm going to use my shotgun to kind of untie it from the docks because otherwise it won't be able to go anywhere. There's one over there. Before I get to that though, let me, you know what? Let me take this forklift. Everything works by the way. Um, so every vehicle that you have, like in the case of the forklift, I can raise and lower things and I can actually use that, right? So if I, I don't have any ideas right now uh, how to use the forklift in this mission, but if I did, um, I could probably use these uh, shipping crates here. Let's find out. There we go, here we go. 
Okay, in that case, it's too heavy. So it's actually lifting the forklift. But I know I want to use the forklift uh, because I want to get inside this gate for a minute. You'll see why in just a second. Okay, that did me no good. That's fine. We'll be all right. Okay, so I want to get over here. At this point, the forklift was useless. I didn't need it. Thought I needed it. Don't need it. Um, we will put this... Let's get it out of the way, though, because you'll see in a second, everything is physics-based. So even if you destroy stuff and you get, like, wood and metal on the ground, um, it will totally fuck up your... Uh, it'll, it'll fuck up your ability to drive. All right. So let me move this out of the way because I'm going to steal that truck basically, right? And that tr I'm going to basically what I'm trying to do, my way of solving this mission, and I haven't pulled this off yet, but I wanted to make this video once I think I figured it out because I was like, oh, that's such a cool way to do it that I, I thought it really helped indicate or show people how cool this game really is. So my, my solve is I'm going to take the, the truck that's hooked up to the boat. I'm going to drive it over to my escape vehicle and I'm going to wait. I'm not going to take the GPS apart. Let me, let me show you that real quick. Um, the GPS is, see that there it is right there. The GPS is literally inside the boat and it's attached to this alarm. So if I go there and hit E and pick it up, uh, the timer will start, right? So I need to get this close to my escape vehicle uh, before I sort of pull the plug or, or, or before I pull the, uh, the, the, the alarm. Okay. Cause I need, I don't have a lot of time. Right. So let me get the truck over there first and I'll do that now. And again, you got to be careful because watch what happens as you start to drive, as you start, as you start to drive, you are damaging the truck. You are damaging the boat. Um, I guess there are missions where you may have to do it perfect, but in this case, I just got to get the GPS there. Um, so like right there, you know, I could have, I'm totally fucking this boat up. Totally fucking the truck up, but I don't really give a fuck right now because if I get where I'm going on time, uh, okay, oh shit. Um, I mean, it, it's it's crazy how much things just work in this game. You see this crane right here? You can drive the crane. At first, I was trying to solve this by driving that crane and you can raise the crane and attach things to its hook. I was taking this boat in this crane and driving the boat and putting it in the bigger boat. And then I was just like, that's moronic, Jaffe. You don't need to fucking... I, I was being... You know, my initial thought is always more elaborate than it needs to be. Then I'm like, why don't I just drive the fucking boat over here? Okay, so now we got that. Now we're out of the truck. Okay, so that's GPS-1. That's going to take no time at all to detach it and get in my car. So that'll be the last one I mess with, okay? Now I need to go get uh, the, the big boat, okay? The big boat is the one... Um, that has the second GPS on it. And again, you can do this in any order, but uh, I'm going to go over here. And again, I only just let me just show you while we're waiting. Or while, while, while I have a moment before the cops come. Uh, some of the, like I said, this thing is, it's just, as a, as a player and a designer, like, I don't think I could ever just, I mean, maybe I could, but I would get more lucky. I mean, to design a game like this is... It's, it's, it's to really understand how things might play together and work together. And I don't know, I, I think I'm more sort of a scripted, like, let's have this kind of moment happen. But I mean, this is just, you know, shit just works like it should work and physics works like they should work. And you can sort of, you know, make your own solve. It's incredibly satisfying. So in this case, I'll lower the crane arm. I want to pick up that, um, that whatever that is, the trash bin which I'm kind of in the process of destroying, but fuck it. Okay, then if I hit, I can hit that, uh, the space bar, and now I can take this wherever the fuck I want, right? So if I wanted to use this to make a, a bridge or a ramp or, it, you know, something to smash something, I can do all that. But I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to show you the fun of the destruction because part of the game is, is fucking just fun to destroy shit, such as, here we go. I mean, look, look at this shit. Look at this shit. If I was like a little fucking kid, dude, I would just be, I mean, hell, I'm not, I'm, I'm loving it now, but imagine being like a kid and just being like, destroy shit with fucking machines and crap. Amazing. And then it goes into the water. Okay, whatever. Okay, now let's go get the boat. Okay, so that's the boat right there that we need. Okay, so let's swim over there very quickly. I'm telling you. It kind of takes what 
you remember the feeling when you were playing GTA probably three for the first time and you were able to just make things happen. You were able to kind of go, oh, I wonder if I try this and it, and it worked. And it was pretty limited. But for the time that game came out, GTA three in 2001, for the time that was pretty special. People hadn't really, including me, had a lot of experience with that kind of, with that kind of game design, with that kind of, you know, how that game made you feel. This is that same feeling, but for 20 years later. This is that same feeling where it's like that, but it's on steroids because there's so many more things that you can try. Like in this case, I need to get through this gate and I'm just like, fuck it, I'll just use the truck. Although I may have to destroy it a little bit more. And I'm telling you that feeling, as long as that feeling, oh shit, I need those steps. Don't fuck the steps up. As long as that feeling keeps getting improved, it's a great fucking gameplay feeling. Okay, so I'm going up here. Because I have found I tend to have a hard time getting on the boat unless I approach it from this kind of high angle. I'm um, fuck now. Fuck now. Yeah, there's not there's not a lot of good jumps in this game. Well, while I'm here, let me take away this. Let me kill this one too. Okay, so at least yeah, you cannot board the boat. You know you might be able to. Let's try something. So the boat absolutely has a, um, there we go. The boat absolutely has, uh, it can sink, but I don't think it's going to sink just from, uh, from what I'm doing to it. It's got a, it's got a hit point system as well. Okay. Let's get in. And there's all, like I said, wait, hang on. Okay. I'm out of shotguns. Oh shit. Let's see if we can. It's like, yeah, Jaffe, it's made of metal, you moron. All right, let's try the blowtorch. I just got to get up these stairs. Okay. I have no idea where I'm going to come up. Let's see. There we And we're, oh shit, hang on. Okay, and that's what I'm saying. You just stuff you think about. I was going to go back and have to find a way to jump in. And right now I'm in the boat now. Okay, so here's the boat. We've we've detached it from all of its, uh, what are you, I don't know. I'm not a sea guy. Couplings, whatever. Oh, and there's the other GPS. That's the second GPS, right? So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to get the boat over to um, as close as I can to my escape vehicle. So when I pull those GPSs, it's going to be fucking instant, right? So here we go. And I think I've detached everything. Now, for a while, now remember, the, the, the last GPS is in this building. And for a while, I started thinking, holy shit, how am I going to do that? Because that's a long way to go. Especially, I'm going to have to destroy this bridge in order to get this boat close. Because you can't, you know, you might be able, I don't know if the level ends. I guess you could potentially, well, there you go. You could potentially go all the way around here and come back and park the boat. And that's probably what a lot of people would do. But I have ADD and I don't have any patience. And so here's the way I solved it, which I just thought was an absolute fucking joy. Watch this. Um, again, I hope that doesn't. Oh, that's the crane. And that tore uh, a hole in my boat. You see that? That's the crane that I so, you know, negligently just slammed into the fucking water. And, uh, and now it's damaged my boat. Okay, watch this shit. So I'm going to destroy, now I'm going to be careful. I'm going to destroy this part of the bridge. Why? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Watch this shit. Watch this shit. Watch this shit. So there's the boat. There's, okay, here it goes. It's getting removed. Okay, now even if my boat's kind of fucked, and it is, and you'll see it starting to sink a little bit, I don't really care because it's, it's top heavy, right? So as long as I can get this boat backed up against where I need it to be, which I think is right about here. And it's gonna fuck the boat now, crunch, cr look at that, crunch, crunch, crunch. It's incredibly satisfying to sort of break shit. I don't know, okay, look at that, here we go. It's about as far as I, oh shit, oh shit, okay, now, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay, I don't wanna fuck this up, because if that thing comes loose, okay, it didn't. If that thing came loose and fell into the water, it would register as a disconnect, and I would have fucked my mission, okay, so. Okay, so now here's what I got to do. Let me get my blowtorch out. Um, I'm going to make a hole in the back of the boat. Again, it's metal, so I either have to use a shotgun or a blowtorch. 
Because once I get this thing, I need to be ready to run, right? So let's see, if I go like this, yep, there we go. So that's a pretty simple path. And I'm gonna waste all my blowtorch and make it bigger because when, when that alarm goes off, I tend to get really fucking nervous. And okay, that's as good as it gets because I don't have any more and that won't break. And there, I don't, there may be places where you can ammo up, but I haven't found them. Okay, so now I have to go, remember, to that building over there, right? That Right here. Um, I'm just gonna swim there because check this shit out okay first off just remember i said there's there's also collectibles you can find and stuff so if you're really a completionist i think every level has a certain number of valuables so like i found this one oh it's i think i already collected it there was like a, a bad like video game console you could find under the bridge i just i don't know what it does i don't know if it goes to a point system and you upgrade or if it's just fun i have no clue again it's early access so you know it's, it's still a lot they're doing on this game. Uh, and there's definitely a lot of room for improvement, but goodness gracious, it is... I could have opened the door, but I'm a child. Um, there's a lot of room for improvement, but boy, it is... The, the core of this fucking thing, it's wild. Okay, so I got to go over there. Uh, let me rotate around. There it is. That's where I want to go. Fuck you. I mean, you can fucking put hole... I mean, look at this shit. I mean, you can drop down to floors below. It's. I mean, I, it's just cool. Okay. Okay, so this is what I need, right? I need, that's the GPS. Now, here's, here's my plan. I wonder if you can, fi no, you, you can't figure out my plan yet because you don't know the one mechanic that I discovered, which I was like, oh, that's fucking cool. Watch this. And again, this, this, this is the fucking game, man. The game is, it's just, the levels work and all the things that you would expect to work kind of work. I mean, you know, within reason, it is still, a, you know, it's a simulation. It's not going to give you everything. But within reason, the way you expect it to work. Now watch this. Okay, so what, here's, how, here's how I'm going to do it. Here's how I'm going to do it. You're going to be so impressed with me. It's not funny. Okay. So this, it turns out, I only realized recently, um, after trying this mission like four times, is a drawbridge. Okay? Watch this shit. Okay. And you got to be careful because sometimes you can drive over it a little bit too steep. And if you drive over it too steep, your car will get stuck in the bridge. Um, okay. But I think that's going to do it. All right. Now, here's the deal. I'm going to take this car over here of which you can drive everything. And, you know, this just has a handbrake. Like some things have functionality, you know, because it's a certain kind of vehicle. This is just a straight up car. And because every second counts in this game, I am going to drive it over here and get it ready for me, like the getaway car. And that is why I made a hole in that wall there uh, where the GPS is, because I want to make sure I don't have to go through the house again. I can just basically come down here, get the GPS in there, jump out the window, get the car. Then I'm going to get the car and I'm going to drive it across the drawbridge. I'm going to jump land here i'm going to put the gps that i just got in there i'm going to grab this one there this one there and we're going to be off to the races and we will have one is it going to work i don't know that's why i recommend saving uh often so save quick save so if it all goes pear shape as the kids say we can try it again um i think we're ready you know what fuck it we're going to do a test we're going to do a test let's see if i raise the drawbridge too much here we go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, we got it. I just kind of fucked up the driving. Okay, fine. No worries. Let's reload. Let's try that again. You got, you got to practice. Practice makes perfect. You know what I'm saying? I had a... The guy I worked with uh, at Bartlett Jones, who ran the company with me, Nick Coninellis. I'll never forget it. We were going into a pitch meeting. Hang on. Look at that. Look at that. That's preparation. That's fine. I'll get out of the car and run. Look at that shit. Okay. We are ready to go. What I was going to tell you, Nick, uh, uh, Nick comes to me. We're about to go into a pitch. I think it was with Sony. And I said, oh, I hope we're ready. I, I, you know, I got to focus. And, fo and he says, you know what? And I think he was quoting a Wu-Tang thing. But he said, he says, today has already been decided. How today goes has been decided by how we've acted the last month and a half in terms of prepping and all that. He goes, so what you do now, it doesn't matter. You're either ready or you're not based on things that have already come before. That is this game. That is you plan you practice and then you see where where things are okay so i think that i know that ramp is working 
I'm going to quick load and we are going to see if we can pull off this heist. All right. Are you ready? Are you nervous? I would be because once the shit goes down and that alarm goes off, you don't got much time and I get real nervous and I fuck things up easy. Like I don't drive well. I crash into shit. I fall through holes. Here we go. Here we go. Let's look at the plan one more time. Steal it. Get it. Get the car. Jump the ramp. Put it in. Get that one, get that one, and go. Okay, 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 okay. If we do this, if we make this, Joe Biden's going to win the presidency. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's a lot of pressure. Here we go. There's the alarm. There's the car. Let's go. Calm Jaffe. There's no need to destroy the car. Now, let's hit the ramp. Oh, shit. Hit the ramp straight. Hit the ramp straight. This is for Biden. Hit it straight. Hit it straight. Hit it straight. Straight enough. Okay, get out. Get out of the car. You don't give a fuck. Go, 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 go. Come on now. Come on now. Oh, where's no? Miss the truck. Miss the truck. Miss the truck. You fucking moron. Yeah, put it in. Okay, okay, okay. Put it in. Okay, now I get, get the last one. Get the last one. Did I get that one? Oh, shit. Oh, shit, Jaffy. Come on now. Come on now. Okay, we're going we're gonna to make this. We're going to make this. Fuck you, cops. Fuck you, cops. Boom! And that is how you pay the rent, motherfuckers. Now, did I get the the secondary objectives? No, I did not. But I wasn't trying to. I will try later. Uh, I want to. I want to finish the game before I try to, uh, you know, four star everything. Look at that, and shows you how you did it. That's so cool, man. That is. It's like a. Remember back in the day when Rainbow Six, uh, a buddy of mine, right, a colleague of mine. Not that he wouldn't be a buddy. We don't know each other that well. But I worked with him, Brian Upton was the designer of Rainbow Six, the first one. And I remember when you had to make all the plans and tell people the out the checkpoints and shit. That's kind of like this, but you're doing it a little bit more in real time. It's really fucking cool. This is called Teardown. I highly recommend uh, you check it out. Um, again, I don't know, because it's so puzzly, like I don't feel like, oh, I want to jump in and try the next one now. I, I might need some time off, you know, because my brain just doesn't like puzzle after puzzle after puzzle. But this thing is just really fucking cool. And then there's a sandbox mode if you just want to tear shit up. There's a building mode, which I haven't played with yet. I guess that lets you make shit, obviously. And then again, this is going to be, it's an early access. It's 20 bucks. Uh, it's going to be refined over the course of the next month's year. And on top of it, it's very mod friendly from what I understand. So I'm sure people are going to make a shooter with this. I'm sure people are going to make a PVE. Can you imagine a PVE with this where you're using all the shit to fight a giant boss monster? This is cool shit. I'm in. I like it. Uh, this is, if this doesn't find its way for whatever it's worth into my top 10 of 2020, simply after playing the early access, I will be, it'll be a great year for games because that'll be indicative of the fact that there are some great shit uh, that came out this year. All right, take it easy, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you.